Welcome to First Chapter Friday. My name is Lucy and the book that I'm going to be reading the first chapter of today is called Maisie Chen's Last Chance. This is by Lisa Yi. Maisie Chen's Last Chance is the story of 11-year-old Maisie Chen who at the beginning of the book goes to visit her grandparents from where she lives in California with her mother to their home in Last Chance, Minnesota. Maisie's never been there. In fact, she hasn't really seen much of her grandparents during her life. Her grandparents own a Chinese restaurant in Last Chance, and Maisie and her mother are going to help out there just for a couple of weeks, but it turns out that they end up staying a lot longer. The grandparents need their help. During this time, Maisie becomes pretty close with her grandfather, and he begins to tell her stories about Lucky, who was his grandfather and who founded the restaurant called the Golden Palace that her grandparents still own. And so the book goes back and forth between stories about Lucky in 1886 and then the current day with Maisie and what's going on with her in Last Chance. And when we learn about Lucky, we learn about his journey to America and about the history of Chinese immigration to America. It's a very interesting part of this book. The other part of this book deals with Maisie and sort of this mystery adventure that she's trying to solve. There is a racist attack on her grandparents' restaurant and Maisie sets out to find out who did this. Along the way, there's some really great parts. There's lots of talks of food because there's lots of cooking. Her mother is a food stylist and her parents own the restaurant. But also something that Maisie does is she starts to rewrite fortunes and fortune cookies. She realizes that the fortunes that come in fortune cookies aren't real and aren't really fortunes at all. So she studies people and she gets to know them and she writes fortunes that really apply to what that person is going through at that time. And it's a really fun part of the book to read the fortunes that Maisie writes. So I'm now going to read chapter one of Maisie Chen's Last Chance. There is a little page with one line on it before the first chapter, which I'll read as well, that says, no story starts at the beginning. Chapter one. The pies were fake, but my grandparents didn't know that. Not at first, anyway. My mother had invited them to watch her work on a Tasty Flake pie crust commercial. When I first started going with her to the set, mom told me, as a food stylist, my job is to make sure everything looks good for the camera. Oma and Opa showed up directly from the airport wearing matching airplane pillows around their necks. My job was to make sure they didn't get in trouble. My grandmother's luggage had barely touched the floor when she rushed over and in her excitement practically knocked me down. Oma's hug felt awkward partly because of the neck pillow and also because even though I was eight years old, it was the first time I'd met her in person. My best friend thinks it's weird that I don't know my grandparents that well, her family is really close. It's complicated, I tried explaining to Ginger, but the truth is, I don't understand it myself. My mom and I talk about almost everything, but when it comes to her relationship with her parents, that's a different story. On the set, Opa beamed brighter than the soundstage lights dangling overhead. Maisie, you're so big! My grandfather kept repeating before he got distracted by the pretend kitchen with only one wall. That's when Oma pointed to a tight circle of people. Shouldn't they be working, she asked. Why aren't they working? Mom stood calmly in the middle while the director yelled, Charlotte, I need practice pies now. You'll get your pies, Mom said, motioning to the two dozen pies lined up on folding tables. Some were fully baked, others were ready for the oven, preparing for their close-ups. My grandparents watched in shocked silence as mom's perfectly rounded scoops of mashed potatoes stood in for vanilla ice cream, since potatoes don't melt. Instead of milk, glasses were filled with glue because that looks better on camera. Oma and Opa are in the food business too. They own the Golden Palace. That's their Chinese restaurant in Last Chance, Minnesota. Mom once told me, Maisie, you're the last of the Last Chance Chens. That seemed weird, since I'd never even been there. I leaned in to eavesdrop as my grandparents began to whisper, where did Charlotte learn that? Not from us, it's not real food. When mom topped the pies with a can of shaving cream instead of whipped cream, Oma looked like she had just seen a zombie. It was all too much. My grandmother grabbed her suitcase with one hand and my grandfather with the other. Come on, we're going home. But we just got here, Opa protested. By now, he had noticed that the back of the oven was missing and that there was a camera inside it. Before he could say anything more, 
Uma kissed the top of my head. We love you, Maisie. Come visit us. And that was the last time I saw my grandparents until today. That's the end of chapter one. And so that book starts before Maisie goes to Last Chance, four years before, in fact. And her grandparents come for a quick visit and don't like what they see. So they go back to Minnesota and Maisie remains a little bit estranged from them until chapter two. And so if you want to know more about Maisie's adventures in Last Chance, Minnesota, and if you want to learn about her grandfather's stories and about Lucky and his journey to America, I highly recommend reading Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yee. Thanks for joining me.